Hello and welcome. This is Abby with Cookies and Crochet and I am back on to share some finished objects with you today and then I also have um, a work in progress and I wanted to talk about some knitting needle trouble. <laughs> so welcome. Um, I'm glad you could join me today. I uh, hope you have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or iced tea or lemonade or whatever you like to drink, grab it, sit down, let's chat. Um, so I have to share, I finished my Egg Harbor Afghan. Um, my very first knit Afghan, I finished it. <sighs> Praise the Lord because that thing, it was getting to the point where I didn't want to work on it because it was heavy, it was thick, it was hot, and of course it's sitting on my lap. I just, I dreaded working on it. The other problem that I had, um, I had bought these, uh, I think it's pronounced Takumi um, clover oh, wooden circular needles. Now I purchased this with the kit from Hirschner's. Um, it's a nine millimeter uh, circular needle to work on the blanket. Well, with the heat and the humidity, it seemed like the yarn was um, kind of sticking to the needles. And it really hurt my hand as I am trying to knit, trying to push the stitches up so I could work on them. And then with my other hand, trying to pull the stitches down as I was working. And it was taking twice as long. I got fed up. I really did. So I went searching through, <clears throat> I have a small stash of knitting needles. I went searching through and I could not find the right size because I not only needed a nine millimeter needle, but I needed quite a long cord um, because it's a wide blanket. It, it's not like a very wide, but it's wide. And I don't even know the length of the cord. Um, I'm guessing maybe 30, 30 inch cord. I don't know. Anyway, well, I had ordered these um, interchangeable um, knitting needle set um, from Denise. It's the name of the company. But anyway, um, a subscriber had actually um, suggested these to me. This this kit and I bought it like back around Christmas time and so I pulled it out and I will just quickly share the inside it has different colored different colored different size um, needles um, it has the cord cords over here <laughs> and uh, other other little accessories anyway. So yes, I did find the nine millimeter needle that I needed, but I could not find a cord long enough. Well, I didn't realize that this kit came with these little extenders. So, and I am so excited because I just had to tell you guys because this saved my life because I did not want to have to go out and buy you know, a, an, another circular needle just so I could finish this blanket. Okay, so here is, um, these are the nine millimeters, and I can't remember how long this cord is, but look, I got an extender, put the extender on, and added another short um, needle, or um, cord from the extender to the other needle, so thereby making a long enough cord. And I was a little concerned because I never, I have never put it all together like this. And I was like, is this gonna hold? Is this gonna hold? Because that blanket was so heavy and it was so thick. And I was just like, you know, I the first few rows I was kind of knitting carefully because I was like, is this gonna, you know, it didn't. This held up. These are bad boy needles. So to my subscriber, Kathy, thank you for suggesting this because they are awesome. It worked like a dream. 
Um, the yarn just slid right off. I was able to get back to my, you know, get back on track, finished it. It held together. It did not slip once. It did not un come undone once. It held up like a champ. So I highly recommend, highly recommend this. Yeah. Um, so it has, let me read, um, it says, um, unique locking connection, 10 needle sizes, um, 3.75 millimeter to 10 millimeter, six cord links, four end buttons, and two connectors, travel friendly, made in the USA. So I would just, if, if you're looking for something like this, highly recommend it. It is well made, good quality, um, yeah. I just I just wanted to share that in case anybody is wondering. So this saved me. This saved me from going out and having to buy a whole nother needle just so I could finish my project. So I took my blanket out in the backyard and took some video of it because it's 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 pretty big. It's long, but it is narrow. Um, but it's hard to hold up in front of the camera. I do have it right here. I washed it because remember my son spilled coffee in the bag. It did wash out, so I'm thankful for that. But this is the bottom of it. And just quickly show all the way to the bottom. But I'll 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 include the video. I'll insert the video of it that I there's the bottom. Um so anyway, yeah, it's all done. And I'm so glad. <laughs> And I did notice my, my gauge changed because in the beginning of the blanket, and you'll see it in the video, um, which I will insert right here. started the blanket it was more loose and it, I tightened I always do that I have that problem with crochet too I don't mean to it just happens but my gauge definitely tightened so the blanket starts out wide and then it kind of gradually now I didn't lose any stitches but it just you know you can tell it's just a little bit more narrow and tighter at the end but oh well cannot change that now can I but I did finish it which is was my goal and I'm very thankful I did that. Okay, moving on. Um, just for a quick disclaimer, spoiler alert for Tina for TNT crochet hookers. She and I are doing the Annie's block of the month Afghans, the knit and the crochet. Um, so if she is watching and you do not want to see the future blocks, the four through six, I'm going to share what I've got done so far. If you don't want to see that, if you don't want to know the colors and the stitches, fast forward. Don't watch this part, okay? Okay, so blocks four through six for the crochet and knit afghans. First, I will share the knit. Um, so this is for the coastal gray colorway in um, the Annie's Kit Clubs, the block of the month. So this month um, is, you get three blocks a month. Um, so this one is, and it uses the uh, Premier Anti-Pilling yarn, and this color is, it's upside down, Snow White. So this is the yarn that came, and I've only got one block done so far. I love making this block. It went very fast. Um, I still made a few mistakes, um, but this is 
uh, block four, I believe. So there it is. I, I have not weaved in the ends yet, but I really like that. It kind of looks like snowflakes almost. Um, and I will have to block it, I think, because it's curling. Um, but anyway, so I got one, one block done for the knit afghan. And then for the crochet um, block of the month afghan, I chose the colorway Warm Sand. So for this month, this came, and this colorway is cream. Very pretty color, I think. This yarn is so soft. I love working with it. It's beautiful. So this is block four, I believe. You know, we're just starting out simple, nothing fancy. This, I have never done this before, and I really enjoyed this. This went fast. This went very fast, quick, easy, and I really love this look. So I've got two of those done. So that's block four and five. So I don't have six done for that, but that's all. Um, okay, so I'm over with uh, Annie's right now. <laughs> By the way, I did see on, I followed them on Instagram, on Instagram. They have a deal going on right now. If you want to join, it's 50% off your first kit. So instead of, I think the kits are $20, it's, it's half price. So it's like $9.99 or something like that. If you wanted to jump in on this, join our Facebook group. If you want to get in on this and, um, uh, do these uh, make these afghans with us we'd love to have you all right so my whip I wanted to share with you very quickly um, if you remember I had bought this um, cozy toes um, sock yarn from Hobby Lobby it's yarn B um, really pretty colors and this colorway is called shine like summertime so I wanted to use this to make another pair of those ankle socks and I haven't been working a whole lot on them but I just wanted to show you my progress so this is I'm making another ankle sock so this is the cuff and then this is the heel <laughs> so I still have quite a bit to do but I have been busy we've been very busy we've been out in the yard cleaning up planting stuff um, and it's been hot and there's just been certain things I didn't want to work on you know what I mean and then working on that tutorial for the candy stripe blanket and anyway so yeah I haven't worked a whole lot on my sock but this is the heel I really like how it's working up I think it's really pretty I think these are gonna be adorable socks and I love my little stitch markers I'm using this butterfly stitch marker isn't that can you see that isn't that gorgeous that is from Catherine from Crafternoon Treats. She actually sent that as a gift with one of my orders a, a while back. And then this little dragonfly on a leaf, which I think is just gorgeous also. And I think that came with my, um, I think that came with my order from Little Gray Girl, I think. Or it could have come from Giddy Yarns, too. I can't remember. Sorry, but anyway, it's really cute. I like, I'm trying to use my summer stitch markers with my summer color yarn for the socks. I really want to finish these because um, that book that I, um, the crochet socks, um, and I'm using, I forgot to use share that, 3.25 hook for the socks. And it matches the yarn. Isn't that fun? <laughs> when your hook matches your yarn anyway so um i really want to get those done because i want to try some of the new patterns in that book that i got so i'm very excited um so i think that is all i had to share with you today so um i'm still working on the reveal video for the candy stripe blanket so thank you for your patience for that um, i'm still learning the equipment and try and and learning how to do things, what works and what doesn't work. So thank you for being so patient. I am working on it still. Um, and I did include some video of the hostas that we planted and how they're doing. So I hope you enjoy taking care or taking a look at that because I always forget to say, hey, don't forget about the video. 
I'm remembering this time. <laughs> Wait, there's a video at the end if you want to see it. If you like flowers and plants and outdoors, you'll love it. If not, you can go on. <laughs> Just So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed <clears throat> hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm making and um hope you have a great week. God bless. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye.